afternoon and, and welcome to Columbus State University at today's ribbon cutting and grand reveal of our new military connected students office here in our student center in Schuster Hall. I am Ron Williams, CSU's Chief of Staff, and as a component of helping to get today's program underway, I want to introduce a few special guests. They include State Representative Richard Smith, I believe State Representative Teddy Reese was going to join us, is Teddy here? All right. CSU Foundation Trustees and our Chair, Tim Money. CSU Alumni Association board members, CSU's MASAC committee board members, Joel Wooten, former University System of Georgia Board of Regent, our city council representatives, we've got Pop Barnes here. CSU Administration, just give a hand wave, CSU Administration. And Major General Curtis Buzzard, who we will hear from later in the program. This afternoon's program includes remarks from Susan Lovell, the Director of the Military Connected Student Services Unit, Nello Lopes, a graduate student who is the President of the Student Veterans Association, Major General Curtis Buzzard, and the President of Columbus State University, Dr. Stuart Rayfield. Please join me in welcoming Susan Lovell to the podium, who will be followed by Nello Lopes. Thank you, Dr. Williams. It's wonderful to see so many of you here today to celebrate the Military Connected Student Services new location and new office name. We are fortunate to be one of many student-focused offices in the Schuster Student Success Center. Columbus State University enrolls over 1,200 students each semester who are connected to the military in some way, whether it's as a service member, a veteran, spouse, or a dependent child. We are committed to ensuring their success here at CSU. In 2014, administration recognized that military-connected students needed a centralized location on campus where their unique enrollment needs could be met, a place where they could ask questions about credits that if their military transfer, military service credits transferred, help using their military education benefits, and to simply find a place to hang out with other students that shared similar experiences. Four staff members from the Admissions, Recruitment, and Registrar Offices formed the Military Connected Student Services Office. Quickly, Columbus State University became one of the very first in the state to have a dedicated office to serve Military Connected students. The first item on the agenda was create a designated space so the students could hang out in between classes, use the computers, and of course have free coffee. Looking back, I think about some of the successes we've had over the years. One of that comes to mind is the creation of the Military Affiliated Student Advisory Committee, known as MASAC. MASAC was fun founded by Mr. William C. Huff, Bill to many of us here, and Bill reached out to Dr. Markwood and asked how he could help veterans at CSU. Bill and I became fast friends, and we worked together to establish MASAC. And we looked for community members who were passionate about the military and that also had a heart for Columbus State. We looked, sorry, MASAC's primary goal was to ensure Columbus State University was the number one military-friendly institution in the nation and to help supply financial resources for service members, veterans, and their families. I'm proud to share that with the help of MASSAC and donors, we have awarded over $25,000 in scholarships this academic year to deserving military-connected students. <laughs> and also, uh, this year, Victory Media ranked Columbus State University as number eight as a military-friendly school, and we also ranked number seven as a military-friendly school for spouses. This mission of the Military Connected Student Service Office is to help students in the best way that we can to help them reach their goals of achieving educational goals. We have some amazing students here with us. We have Chris Villanueva, who's a military reservist. 
Ms. Kiki Patterson. She's a Gold Star family member. Tom Callow, Army ROTC cadet. Ms. Courtney Lamborn, Navy veteran. Each one here today represents the many military connected students that are enrolled this semester. Their unique life experiences enrich our classroom discussions, they diversify our campus community, and make us better together. Another one of our outstanding students is Nello Lopes. Nello is a graduate student with our Masters of Public Administration program, Army ROTC cadet, and president of the Student Veterans Association. He is an encourager to fellow students and the life of the party. It's a pleasure to welcome Nello to the podium so he can share his reflections on being a military-connected student. Thank you, Susan. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed veterans, honored service members, distinguished faculty and staff, and cherished members of the Columbus State University community, today marks a monumentous occasion as we gather here to celebrate the grand opening of the Military Connected Student Services Office at Columbus State University. That's a tongue twister, isn't it? <laughs> um, it is with immense pride and gratitude that we come together to celebrate the evolution of this vital resource that has been a cornerstone of support for our veterans, service members, and their families. The establishment of the Military Enrollment and Adult Learners Office nine years ago was rooted in a commitment to honor and serve those who have given so much to our nation. The unwavering dedication of our veterans and service members deserve nothing less than our utmost appreciation and comprehensive support. That type of support is displayed through and through every day in this with our excellent staff. A, halt, a heartfelt shout out to our incredible team, Susan, our director, Willie, Yvette, and Haley, our enrollment counselors, and our former counselors, Amina and Stephanie, which you have probably met. And let's not forget the hardworking, past and present work study students, including myself. <laughs> Your unwavering dedication has a powerful shield for the students and families who face battles, both in service and beyond. Your commitment helps them conquer the fears of struggling in the civilian world. Thank you for standing firm and fighting a good fight with us. Being a father and juggling various roles truly has driven home to the values of the saying, it takes a village. I've met people from all different walks of life being a part of this office. And it's taught me the power of curiosity over judgment. I've learned to ask questions that others might shy away from, Taking an extra step to know someone and genuinely caring about that person goes a long way. Thinking about my time in the Army, it has hit home how crucial this office actually is. The Army trained me for a solid 14 weeks, turning me into a tough, efficient, successful infantryman. Or at least that's what I think. <laughs> but as I've connected with more folks in the process of leaving the military, including my wife Malia, who's set to ETS uh, in, in October, it's become clear that there's a gap. Our service members aren't on the same level as we are as we're getting trained, that same level of readiness from the shift from soldier to civilian life. This really drives home the significance of this office and why this office means so much. Today, we proudly unveil the Village, the Military Connected Student Services Office, this office is a living testament to the principles that guide us in helping those we serve at CSU to create you. It signifies our pledge to ensure that those who have selflessly served our country find a welcoming environment to pursue their academic dreams and seamless transition into civilian life. This transformation is not merely a name. It reflects our deepened commitment to continuously improving our services to our military-connected students. As we cut the ribbon today, we honor the journey that brought us all here, the dedication of our military-connected students who balance the demand of service and education, the commitment of our faculty and staff who recognize the importance of their students' success, and the partnerships that we have created and forged with our community, which includes Fort Moore, the greater Columbus area, 
and Columbus State University. From us to you, we thank you. In closing, let this ribbon ceremony symbolize a new chapter for the Military Connected Student Services Office and renew promise to stand by those who have served us honorably. Remember that every veteran, service member, and family who walks through these doors is a testament to the sacrifice for our freedom. A big thank you to the entire Columbus State University community for your unwavering commitment to foster, fostering an inclusive and supportive atmosphere that's instrumental in helping everyone create you. Cougars lead the way. <laughs> Thank you. I will be followed by Major General Curtis A. Buzzard, the Commanding General of the U.S. Army Maneuver Center of Excellence and Fort Moore. Major General Buzzard commissioned as an infantry officer out of the United States Military Academy and began his career in the 82nd Airborne Division. Airborne. <laughs> Over his 31 years of service, Major General Buzzard served in numerous command and staff assignments across airborne, light, and mechanized infantry and striker formations. His notable assignments include military aid for Presidents Bush and Obama, battalion and brigade command in combat in the 82nd Airborne Division, commander of the Joint Multinational Readiness Center, deputy commander for the 7th Infantry Division, and the 78th Commandant of Cadets at USMA. Without further ado, please help me welcome Major General Buzzard. All right, well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's really great to be here, and thanks, Nello, for that uh, kind introduction, and uh, glad to hear, well, I can tell a great leader and gonna be a great infantry officer down the road, and I may, I may be, I might be able to influence that a little bit also, <laughs> uh, considering you'll be, you'll be training there at Fort Moore. And thanks to Dr. Rayfield and uh, Susan Lovell for allowing me to be part of this great moment that'll benefit not just our soldiers, but uh, our families also, and, and the many students here that have a military background. And CSU has been such a great partner with, with Fort Moore, and this is just yet another example of that partnership. And as many of you know, we renamed the installation recently last May as Fort Moore, and with that has come a motto, Be More. And that's really a, that's really a challenge, and that's a challenge of constantly be improving to be proud but, but, but never satisfied, and really to push ourselves to a higher standard, uh, ourselves and our family members. And so CSU has been a, can be a part of that journey, has been a, a steadfast partner over the years, and, and this is yet another example of that and even increasing that, that partnership. And in CSU's mission statement and vision, I noticed that you reinforce lifelong learning and service to others, and those are important values that, uh, you know, that obviously we, uh, we try to live in the military and it's just great again having this, this partnership. And across many ranks, our soldiers seek higher education through CSU. That's captains that are part of the captain's career uh, course that are here for a master's program. And I reflect back when I was in graduate school, it was kind of funny how instructors recruited military students because they show up on time, they do the reading, and they share great life, great life experiences. And that's what I'm sure our uh, young men and women that are here are doing. We've got permanent party that are uh, pursuing undergraduate degrees. And, uh, and then you've got it's such a host of leadership presentations and panels that occur uh, with the university, also in conjunction, I know, with the National Infantry Museum and other places. And so we get, the, we get the benefit from all that. But again, it's not just for our soldiers, it's also for their, our spouses, our children, support to Gold Star family members like Kiki and, uh, and uh, so many others. And that relationship also continues with what, what uh, we call our soldiers for life. And that's our soldiers that transition out of the Army, whether just separating or retiring. And they continue to value lifelong learning and they then transition to be leaders in the community like Major General Retired Pat Donahoe, my predecessor at, uh, at Fort Moore Maneuver Center and his important role with, uh, with Columbus State University. So if I could sum it up, Columbus State University helps our soldiers be more, right? And so we're really excited about this today. It's great to be part of this ceremony. Thanks for inviting me, and I look forward to cutting the ribbon. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Major General Buzzer. 
we are certainly very grateful for our partnership with Fort Moore. And so next we will hear from the sixth president of Columbus State University, who will share more about the university's commitment to our military connected students and how we are uniquely situated to remove barriers and continue to build upon the resources and opportunities for military connected students. Please join me in welcoming President Stuart Rayfield. It really is incredible to see this, this distinguished group of people um, here to, to celebrate the opening um, of this location of our military connected student services. I want to start by thanking General Buzzer for being here. Um, it really is, it's been great. One of my very first meetings was out at Fort Moore um, and I had the chance to really talk about this partnership. And I think every president comes in with the expectation that we really want to deepen and strengthen this partnership. And I think we've actually got the right tools in place and the resources in place to be able to do that. But before I talk about how important um, our military connected students are to this institution, I'm going to go back to my roots and talk about servant leadership for a minute and set this up. Servant leadership is about leading as a servant first and a leader second. And what does that mean exactly? Well, Robert Greenleaf is the person who coined this term, and he gives a definition. And one of those things that he talks about is it is the care taken by the servant to make sure that other people's highest priority needs are being served. And I think that's what our institution is here to do. It is to understand what the highest priority needs of are of our students and then work to meet those needs. This institution was founded to serve the needs of the community and that includes Fort Moore. General Buzzard mentioned General Donahoe who is somewhere around here sitting in the back row. Um, he, he is going to be the key, I think, right now for helping deepen this partnership because when we think about serving the highest priority needs of our students, we have to have someone at the table who understands what those needs are, who speaks the language, knows how to navigate the bureaucracies of the military, and then couple those with the bureaucracies of state government and higher education. Um, I was able to attend a dinner not too long ago uh, with General Donahoe and uh, General Simmering. And uh, during that meeting, or during that dinner, um, they talked about 90 miles an hour with each other, and I understood about a third of what they said. They were talking in military acronyms and lingo that I'm not familiar with. But it's a demonstration of how, what, how limited I am as president to be able to go in and impact and affect change in our relationship. But having General Donahoe as part of our team now, that really gives us a leg up to deepen that partnership because he understands the lingo. He knows how to call out different regs and say, we can get around this by doing a variety of things. So I thank you. So to, pin, to meet the highest priority needs of our military and our military affiliated and connected students, we have to be able to talk this language. And so in doing so, in a very short period of time, We've been able to accomplish a good bit, especially around the captain's career course and our students who are coming back. So you'll see that since um, General Donahoe has been affiliated with Columbus State, we've reduced the credit hours of that master's program from 36 to 30. Uh, military captains who are going through the career course will get nine hours of credit towards their master's degree, taking that 30 degree master's program, taking none of those hours out, and then we're left with 28 hours, or 20, <laughs> 22 hours, um, uh, and 21 hours. Uh, I should never try to do math in public. Um, we're also looking at new modalities. We have our dean of the College of Business who's going to be teaching a negotiations course um, in the Master of Science in Organizational Leadership. She's going to be teaching it over the course of three weekends. Instead of asking um, our uh, captains to come to our campus, we're going out to Fort Moore and are going to be teaching that class there. We've also moved online. We have the ability for a handful of the captains to be able to stay in Columbus uh, at Fort Moore and their sole duty is really to go and complete their master's program. 
but we have a lot more captains who are going through that career course that we want to be able to serve and so we now have the ability to serve those those students as they transition off of Fort Moore into their next assignment. Um, so we're listening. We're trying to figure out to make sure that our, what, we are, what we are charging our students aligns with the fee structure on how the Army pays. Uh, before, there were some gaps that our, our, our military were um, being asked to pay out of pocket, and we really have the ability to shore that up. As Susan mentioned earlier, we've got over 1,200 students who are military affiliated at this institution in any given semester. That's almost 20% of our entire student body. And we are so fortunate, so fortunate, to have this installation in our backyard, and it is incumbent upon us as servant leaders and as an institution that aspires to practice servant leadership to understand those highest priority needs and work to meet them. Part of the way that we do that is through this Military Connected Student Services Office. So I'd like to invite General Buzzer, Susan, Nello, Pete Jones, and uh, General Bamaho, and Pat McHenry to come forward and let's cut the ribbon to officially open this office. 